Three, two, one, go. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. uh, hi, oratory students. Welcome to the end of the hall with Paul, me, and on the show we have Dan. Pleasure to be here. Uh, today we're going to be asking eight questions um, that I had no part in making. <laughs> Question one. If you could be any sandwich, what would you be and why? Good answer. I could need a good answer. So, I would have to say a white Russian sandwich. Why? Let's see. Not only is it part European, it is indeed a sandwich. Brilliant answer. Uh, question number two. Can you please list off your three favorite teachers at oratory? And personally, I have no favorites. They're all amazing. You can go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to sign bias, but, uh, you know, uh, in memory of our dear Mr. Quadro, he's, he's not dead or anything, but, you know, um, uh, Mr. Quadro would have to come first. But since uh, at oratory now, I would, in, uh, let's see, I would have to say Mr. Kearns, shout out to Mr. Kearns uh, for being in the talent show with me when this comes out, yes. Um, yeah, Mr. Kearns, Mr. Gordon, he's a meme, he's a good meme. And, um... You said Mr. Quadro. Yeah, I said Mr. Quadro. That's a good one. Mr. Quadro is always here in spirit. You can move on. Okay, forget the third one. Um, next question. Why do you love your trench coat so much? This, this trench coat is a family heirloom that allows me to transcend the dimensions. Once you flap open the coat wings, I can teleport... Assuming you read the Omega article or not Omega article about the Nine Dimensions Theory in which Mr. Kearns and Mr. Quadro are the uh, central point. So uh, give that a read if that's even out there. Maybe you're not. I don't know. I don't think it is. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank I'll you make it that. eventually. Yes, there we go. That, go check it out. Read that when that comes out. Um, next question. I feel like we should have started with this, but can you briefly explain your average day routine? Yes. Let's see. I get up in the morning, depends on what kind of day. Are we talking about weekday or are we talking about weekend here? Weekday. Weekday, okay. So for <laughs> weekdays, like a little side that's weekdays I uh, get up around maybe maybe six o'clock. Six o'clock, you know, today I got up a long later, but that's okay. Um, maybe six o'clock to the sound of death metal. For you going fiend by Stark Zodiac, I recommend it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it! <laughs> Just keep going, just keep going. If I start Zodiac, I recommend it very good way to make up in the morning. I uh, either skip or eat breakfast depending on how I'm feeling. Rice Cripsies is what I had this morning. Uh, then I got dressed in my all black routine from my black closet and wore my trench to school. Everybody was fearful of the trench and uh, <laughs> laughed in either awe or shock. I went to my first period where, again, I did not exist, it was just the trench. Uh, the trench's name is Leland, by the way, cameras one, two, and three. Um, but yeah, so, and then after school, I go home and uh, play video games promptly till about 10.03 p.m., uh, which is when I would commence homework until six in the morning, uh, generally speaking, of course. Sometimes I get a little sleep, you know, but yeah. Sometimes. All right, uh, I heard you mentioned video games. Do you know any that you'd like to share? Any of your favorites? Yes, I would have to say the game that I've spent 400 days on. That's an hour's time, by the way, cameras one, two, and three. Um, <laughs> 400 days. Final Fantasy XIV. Been playing it for six years. Get that subscription fee. $15 a month. Not a promotion. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. Where did you get your inspiration for your famous speech? Famous slash infamous. I didn't know people disliked it that much. <laughs> I don't know. People thought I was a, you know, a Nazi or something. I'm not going to say nothing else about that. When I meant infamous as in terrifying. It was pretty terrifying. terrifying. Uh, my speech's inf inspiration came from a couple places. First and foremost, my valedictory speech I gave after eighth grade when I had no idea what to write. Because, you know, what do you, they're just like, a week before, yeah, you should write something. I'm like, okay. So I'm just like, what do I write? Like, you can do anything your little heart desires. I said, anything? And they said, yeah, anything. So what I did was I went home that night and looked up the most terrifying speeches of all time. Uh, what was it? Ivan the Conqueror. Ivan the Terrible, that was his name. He was a good man, good man. Um, <coughs> or was that Vlad the Impaler? Doesn't matter. 
We have uh, some nice typical speech rhetoric used in there. Some of my own uh, fanciful language that uh, Mr. Kearns endears so. And uh, some on-the-spot stuff that wasn't actually written in that speech that I just thought was kind of good to say at the time because it made it feel more epic. Also, thank you to those two seniors last year who are definitely not watching this because they're in college now. Probably, I don't know if they didn't go to college, but they started the applause! So that brought me all my power. Uh, and thank you to one Mr. Barisi and one Mr. McChrystal talking uh, or murmuring fiercely about how terrifying I was. <laughs> we can move on to the next question. Uh, what do you see in these three pictures? Next hmm. Oh, it looks like that uh, Legend of Zelda boss in that one castle in Link to the Past and Link Between Worlds that has like that crystal head thing with the floor. Helmosaur? Yes, Helmosaur. I'll pick up a picture of that. It looks like the Helmosaur. And, um, I mean, if you're not talking about the Helmosaur, maybe it looks like a really deformed Australia, but... You know. <laughs> That's Chris. that. This one is just the portal to the next dimension, actually. <laughs> so right now, because of Aquadro's mysterious disappearance, we were in the ninth dimension. We are now in the fifth dimension, where Aquadro no longer exists. This is the portal that was taken between the ninth and fifth dimensions. Please don't make me do this one. <laughs> I'm gonna see uh, someone who threw Liam across the lunchroom and stole my seat and then refused to apologize. Excuse me? No. This is Justin Wee. I just thought I'd mention oh. that really quick. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it's cameras one, two, and three. You're actually. You can go through. Are you guys not recording? We are recording. No, we are recording. It's just that we're gonna do editing. The magic of editing. Oh, this, is, this is just Justin Wee, by the way. I mean, just don't hit anything. <laughs> there's like a million other pictures you could have chosen, and you picked <laughs> Justin Stop. Wee. Stop. From the demented mind. This is gonna come in as like an interview. People gonna be like, what? "This kid is actually demented," and I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> "All right, you can continue with the last question, Maestro." Maestro. Um, last question says, asks, "Are there any final thoughts you want to leave off with?" It's very open ended. That is, one's pretty open ended. You go crazy. All toasters, toast, toast. Mr. Garden, 2017. That's a good one! And also, no, that's from Hotel Mario! Don't miscredit that one! Camera one. <laughs> goodbye, my fellow students! Paul, you're the host. You say goodbye. Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what to say! That's Shake hands! Shake hands! Oh! <laughs>